Summer is right around the corner, so today we're talking about sunglasses. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slange. I'm George, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now, it really, really helps us out. Give this video a thumbs up and ding that little bell icon. So over the past couple weeks, I've been asking on Instagram what kind of videos you guys wanted to see and I got a lot of DMs asking to show my sunglass collection. So today I've pulled all of my sunglasses that I could find out of the closet. Some of them are eight to nine years old and some of them I got as recent as a couple weeks ago. So one, I think this video will be super interesting because you'll see how styles have changed and my preferences have changed over the years, but also what styles are classic and will always be classic. All right guys, so up first, this was probably the first pair of sunglasses I was gifted as a fashion blogger, and these are from Pacifico Optical. So I love these because they're like your simple classic, pretty much fit everyone's face style of sunglass. Like they're a little rounded, but they still have a little bit of squareness to them. So it doesn't really matter what face shape you have. I know a lot of guys look at, you know, oh, I don't have the right face shape to wear that style of sunglasses. And chances are you probably can pull it off if you wear it with confidence, but you know, sometimes a douchey sunglass is a douchey sunglass no matter what style of face you have. But I do have about 15 pairs of sunglasses to get through, so if I don't keep this quick, it's going to take forever. So I love the sunglasses, one, because of the color, two, because of the shape, and three, because this will be in style today and five years from now. All right, guys, up next we have these from Crew. They are based out of New Orleans. Um, I love these sunglasses, one, because they're big and bold and not, not big size-wise, but they're big, like they make a statement. So the tortoise on the side is loud and then it has this gold kind of hardware on the bridge of your nose, which just kind of makes a little statement. I've had these sunglasses for, I think, like four years now and I absolutely love them. I also have them in gray, so I will go over those next and just continue to talk about these. So as you can see, I also have these where the bridge is gray and then it has a little two-tone tortoise up top, black on the bottom. So these two sunglasses are very, very similar, but it really depends on what type of style you have. Are you more of a brown tortoise guy or do you wear more blacks and grays? So that's gonna be your decision on which sunglasses you go with. If you wear more blacks and grays, this is the sunglass for you. If you wear more browns and blues, I would recommend the tortoise pair. All right, so let's move on to some bold sunglasses. So. These are from Paired Eyewear. They're based out of Australia. These are very, very loud and also probably five years old. So at the time, I considered this size lens a small lens. And now looking at them in the mirror, they are definitely pretty big for a sunglass. But I do like the hardware. I like this bridge across. I like this little accent here. Um, I like the gold on the sides. So these sunglasses have been kind of my like pool party, um, you know, vacation style sunglasses, wear these to the beach, wear these with swim trunks. These are just kind of my fun happening sunglasses. All right guys, up next, the perks of being a fashion blogger. Uh, Mark Jacobs sent these over. These are totally really not my style, but I have styled them in a few photo shoots where I was going with more of a 70s vibe and they just kind of fit like a moment in time. So guys, I know exactly what you're thinking when you look at these sunglasses. Honestly, just comment the first word that comes to mind in the comments below and I'm sure it will not be great. But I do love these sunglasses because they do fit a certain vibe and a style. Like if I wanted to show off more of like a 70s kind of wider lapel, over the collar kind of collar flare, I would wear these sunglasses because they do make that sort of a statement. They're not kind of an everyday wear for me, but in the right situation, any style of sunglass can make the right statement. All right, guys, up next, these were probably my favorite sunglasses of 2018. I wore them constantly, and these are a collaboration between Linda Faro and Olibar Brown. Um, it's just, Linda Faro makes really, really great sunglasses. So at the time, I was really like a square, kind of edgy type sunglass guy, and I didn't wear a lot of round stuff because I didn't think it fit my face. So I got these and then I'd been wearing them and I forced myself to wear them constantly. And honestly, the more you guys look in the mirror and get used to seeing yourself wearing a different style, then that can become a style for you. I think a lot of people get hung up on seeing what they're used to seeing themselves in and then seeing something completely different. Like square frames to these frames is like a huge jump. But once you get used to it, you know, you can go back and forth very easily. It's just kind of making that initial transition. Like I bet the first time you guys put on skinny jeans, you were like, 
holy crap, this is the tightest thing I've ever worn in my life. And now looking back at those pictures, those jeans probably weren't even that tight. All right guys, up next on the list is probably my oldest pair of sunglasses. These are like Gucci sunglasses from I think like 2013, 2012 even. Um, and honestly, these are massive. Like these feel huge, these feel like really douchey now, but at the time these were like the smaller version of what Gucci was putting out. So, you know, things definitely change over the years. This is about seven or eight years old. And granted, I probably wouldn't wear them as often as I used to, but like the Marc Jacobs sunglasses, I still do style them for certain situations and in photos they can work. But yeah, looking in the mirror, I have a mirror over here. It's just, I feel kind of like, hey, like I should have like a ton of gold chains and a hairier chest at this point. But the funny thing is, is in 2012, these were like small to me. These were tiny and you know, there were much bigger options to choose from. All right guys, so up next, these are probably my second oldest pair next to the Gucci ones. These are also from Linda Faro, but this was my first pair of Linda Faro sunglasses. I think I got them on Gilt for like 150. They were on sale from like 450. So I was like, wow, it's a super expensive sunglass. Has to be a great pair of sunglasses. And they are great sunglasses, but as you can see now, they feel a bit dated, a bit droopy, a bit big. Um, but I do like the gold hardware on the sides. I like the black. Um, they are a little bit flashy, but I will say another thing for you guys to look for is where the bridge of the glasses come from. Because some glasses, you know, they meet it in the middle and it kind of covers your eyebrows a little bit more. But if you go with one that looks a little bit at the temple, it tends to like bring everything down a little bit and draw your eye up a little more. So pay attention to that when you guys are trying on sunglasses. All right, guys, and last but not least, I have a few more pairs from True Vintage Revival. This is my favorite sunglass company of all time. I've been wearing these for like the past two years and they're pretty much my go-to sunglasses. And I think I've mentioned this before, but why they are called True Vintage Revival is because they've gone to the defunct factories in Japan and purchased, you know, acetate from the 1960s, plans to make sunglasses from, you know, all the giant manufacturers that were making classic sunglasses back in the 1960s and 70s, and they used those exact plans to build brand new sunglasses. So, you know, these are a very vintage style kind of Wayfair frame, but they have bought, you know, vintage acetate and vintage plans to make them exactly how they were in 1960 and 1970. And I think that's just one of the coolest thing. Plus they're all handmade in Japan. Um, it takes very, very long to make one pair of sunglasses, but they will last you forever. So these are kind of just a classic pair black frame on the front and then kind of clear smoked acetate on the sides. But if you look at the detail on the inside, there's kind of a little design in there, which is super cool and next level. I love these sunglasses because they are kind of like a subtle flex, like they're very, very well made. But if you just saw me wearing them on the street, you'd be like, yeah, those are nice sunglasses, but you wouldn't think, think twice about, you know, how much I spent on them or if they were like super fancy or what brand name they were. All right guys, and up next, I do have a lot of the same sunglasses in a few different colors. So same version as the last version, but this one has kind of a tortoise acetate on the bottom and then it is covered by a black acetate up top and just has a little accents of black. So you get a kind of little two-toned look. And then these are also the same pair, but also different. So there's tortoise down here, a little fades into it. And then the black up top, these are actually the first pair of sunglasses I got from True Vintage Revival. And I honestly, I love them so much. I get so many compliments on these glasses. And up next, these are probably one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses just because of the story behind it. So True Vintage Revival found a photo of JFK wearing this version of sunglasses. And then they actually found the plans to the sunglasses that he was wearing. So they remade those sunglasses. They added a clip on the side so you can kind of clip it on your shirt or on your pants when you're not wearing them instead of just having to throw it in your shirt. And they just have that 60s retro cool JFK vibe to them. All right guys, up next, these are more of kind of a 50s vibe. So if you look at, you know, kind of photos from the, the original like greaser type guys, they always had thicker frames and thick rim glasses. And these are just kind of like a more circular version of what they were working with. But you can see the rivets in here have these cool flourishes and you know, it's just a wider frame glass. 
So throughout this process, you guys can see that most of my sunglasses look very, very similar. Like you do not need 13 pairs of sunglasses, guys. You probably need two really good pairs. Um, I would recommend something solid like acetate like these. And then I would recommend kind of a metal pair just because that usually gives off a classier kind of more sophisticated vibe. So I just got these from True Vintage Revival as well. And this is kind of my metal pair if I was gonna pick a second pair as like my go-tos. Um, been loving these lately just because they're super light, super thin, um, still have this little accent over the bridge. So I wear these suited, I wear these casual. Um, I wear these very, very often just because they are like a fun, simple, classic silhouette, but they're also super light, super thin, and they don't really take up too much weight on your face. So up next, these are made by a sister company of True Vintage Revival, different brand name, different price point, but same people behind them. So these are a pair of sunglasses that honestly, I would never pick up off the shelf for myself, but they were gifted to me and I wore these all throughout Italy. I wore these on vacation just to kind of test the waters to see if I can pull them off. And they've honestly very much grown on me. And after seeing Ford versus Ferrari, I think Mr. Shelby has a pair of glasses that are very similar to these that are gonna be probably very popular this summer. So I would recommend looking into some clear frames and some lighter tinted lenses for this summer. Um, yeah, these are super fun sunglasses. And up next guys, my last pair of True Vintage Revivals. Um, these are probably one of my favorite pairs because the shape is just unlike any other shape I've seen on the market. Yes, it is round, but it also kind of has these like hard, soft edges around there. And then this kind of points out to the side a little more. These are just kind of something different and classic that I don't see every day. So they are one of my favorite pairs of True Vintage Revival. You can really tell how long I've had some of these based on how worn in the case is. So newer, older. All right, guys, before I go, three more things that I would recommend for everyone that has glasses, sunglasses, whether you have one pair or 20 pairs, um, I recommend having a little screwdriver, a little eyeglass repair kit. I'll have a link to those down below. Um, a microfiber cloth, most sunglasses already come with these, so you won't need to pick one up, but if you do, I'll link to one down below. And then one more thing, I recommend having a cleaning spray for your sunglasses, you know, blowing on your sunglasses, going like, and then wiping them with a microfiber cloth. It works but it doesn't work as well as having a specific product that's made to clean your glasses. Windex does not work great. It's not great for your glasses. Um, so I will have a link to a product down below that you guys should check out. I think it's like eight bucks for two bottles, which will last you well over a year. And it's just good to have because there's nothing worse than having dirty sunglasses, guys. That's probably one of my biggest pet peeves, just seeing like a big smudge on people's sunglasses. So. You know, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this was interesting. I hope this was helpful for you. Remember that you don't need to have a certain face shape to pull off a certain style. Just wear it with confidence, wear it often, um, get used to seeing your own face in that style of sunglass, and then it won't look so weird to you. Once again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, over at Jen's Lounge. Give us a follow over there. It really, really helps us out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please share it with a friend if you can. Cheers, guys.